It is your freak show, Wild 94 One, the Bay's party station, and we got the homie in the house for the first time in a long time, and it's a special day today. Uh, we got a lot to talk about, man. Tampa Tony's in the building, man. Get up close, man. Get up to that microphone, man. Yo. Yo. Tampa Bay, what's up? Hey, man, You, you, it's a wrap. Finally free. Finally free. <laughs> I mean, now this is official. This is like real talk. This is real talk. And you're like, it's done. I mean, now here's the deal. Now, I want to let everybody know how we can find us. I mean, I know you got everybody on socials over here. We're yeah. taping it for, for Wild Web. We got uh, on Facebook Live, too, on Wild 94.1. Uh, and uh, I wanted to make sure today was a, a big day and we commemorate this, man. Because yeah. it's like we were talking earlier and I was like, your story is like unique. Like yeah. on a whole bunch of different levels. Yeah. And uh, you know, you it was funny because when we was talking about it, I was like, yo, we're gonna go through everything and uh and I was like, but I think your story is enough that can inspire, but also it's a cautionary tale. It's like, yo, if you ain't writing a book, dog, I'll write it for you. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm dead serious, yeah. bro. Cause I'm like, you got a story. Like yeah. people pay for these kind of stories. Yeah. You know? So tell everybody, first of all, like you finally free means that you are out from up under any kind of like debt to society that you owe. Yeah. You you've paid your 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 debt yeah. for for the crimes that you have been uh you know accused of or mm-hmm. or Now, how does that how, what do what am I supposed to say? I don't want to not say. Can, I mean, you can I say, say accused of or like uh, I mean, uh, you well, was guilty. I, yeah, listen, of, uh, well, uh, I, I mean, mean, I don't want to say nothing crazy. It was done. It was done, you know what I mean? So like I don't pay my debt, so so yeah, that's officially done. That's now. Officially Can't nobody done. knock on your door and be like, man, we are yeah. yeah, we heard yeah, you they, on they the freak show. Yeah, they can't do that. They can't do that. Okay, all what right. What year so was that, Tony? That was 07. 07. 07. All right, now, now I got to tell everybody, first of all, when this went down, I have to tell you, we now this was back when Wild, you know, I mean, we was playing Tampa Tony. We was playing, you know, Tom G. It was like, man, we had, you know, all kind of local artists that was making their run. And so I had dealt with Tony hundreds of times. <laughs> in the studio, running around with the splitter, like, you know, in the hallways, you know, like everybody's just clowning. So then he gets arrested, and I'm, I was honestly, if I'm keeping it 100, I was like, they got the wrong dude. <laughs> I, was, I swear on everything. I was yeah. like, he, he didn't do it. He didn't do that. Like, what? What? A what? No. And then they're like, life. I'm like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> right, right. I was like, Tony, who was in my office last week. Yeah. I was like, no, that ain't him. And I mean, it's kind of like I'm glad that I didn't know. I was naive about it. But then I'm like, he ain't never tried to sell me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all not a thing. Y'all not, I ain't see him do nothing. <laughs> if he would have called me, to, I would have I testified he ain't do it. Character witness. Because I'm like, witness. yo, I didn't, I've seen him in clubs. He, been not, he comes to the office like very mannerable. I'm like, this ain't him. And I mean, so to end up where you, in that box... Mm-hmm. Day one. Yeah. And they're telling you it's a wrap. Yeah. You're going to die in prison. You're pretty much going to die here. Yeah. What? Tell me what's in your mind at that point when that door closes. You go back over your life from from the start all the way to that point. And you're looking at it like, what I did wrong, what I did right, how could I have changed it? Uh, why me? You know what I mean? And then you think about your morals, you know what I mean, on both sides, the streets and the public side. And you know and, I mean? and when you say morals, because there was an opportunity, and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, because yeah. I'm trying to walk through this carefully, but mm-hmm. there was an opportunity for you to get a lesser something or yeah. for you to make a deal yeah. or whatever, and you chose not to. Yeah. Because you were like, yeah. I did it. It was I me. It. Yeah. And I'm going to take I don't it. need to take anyone else no. down with me. Yeah. That, now, I know the I know the code. G code is what it is. Yeah. But I got to tell you. <laughs> I mean, I ain't trying to like, you know, come off light. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I'm a, I'm a stand up dude. Yeah. But if I'm in that room and they slam that door and it's like, yo, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, if I'm gonna be standing up and say I did it, then I mean it should be six, twelve people sitting next to me <laughs> right in here, and I lighten up my move. Like, why yeah. that didn't cross your mind at all? It didn't cross my mind. It was like, uh, you know, understanding like they took me from my family, and I didn't want to do the same 
to somebody else's family. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was like, okay, right here it's going to stop. I got to stop it right here. You know what I mean? So from me, on this side to that side, it's, it's got to stop right here. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm not trying, I'm not doing it for, to be glorified for it. I'm just doing it because this is who I am. And I don't want nobody else's family to go through what my family went through. That's incredible, man. I mean, that, and and that ain't even the biggest part of the story, but I just got to, I, I, I got to, Talk about the fact that when you're when you're in there, I mean, just take you know, and you just got free from the whole process. We'll talk about the halfway house and everything else, but when you're in there, and because you're a creative guy, you write songs. You I mean the marketing thing behind the splitter? We were like, yo, he was doing this. He built it. Basically, you was like, hey man, I made this. Like you had to <laughs> make you had to make one to like get it like remanufactured, yeah. and you kept coming in like I made this, but I moved the blade. Like I watched <laughs> all of that, so yeah. all of that creativity that you had, and now you just limited to this here. Like yeah. I mean, did it did it kill that? Did you like not feel it anymore? Or was it like on overdrive? It was it was like on overdrive because it it went in overdrive in the world I was in. You know, I was I was being creative in there. After I got out the. The shell of understanding, okay, this is where you're gonna be at. So you got to you got to live and think positive, okay, yeah, you're gonna get out. But I gotta live in the where I'm at. You know what I mean? In the now, right then. You there was an incident, and you reminded me of this when we were talking. Yeah. There was an incident where you had to call in because there was a rumor going around that you had decided that you were gonna kill yourself yeah, and I you had killed, killed yourself. Yeah, they said I hung myself. Wow. Because which I mean a lot of people would be like, yo, life, you yeah. know. But you called him. was like, yo, man, I'm still here. <laughs> you know, which shocked me because I'm like, really? He can call? You know, because I was still grasping with the fact that they had, this was the right guy. Yeah. You know, so you so when you heard that, what what did that what did that make you think? Like, did it, I mean, because people in yeah. there do that. Yeah, they do that. Like, do I that. mean, people can't take it. They yeah, like, yeah. yo, so the people yeah. you're around are all lifers. Yeah. Well, not 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 all lifers, but they have a lot, a lot of time. You might as well say it's like, like yeah. you know what I mean? But they got a date. And so some people decide they just they they it's they a wrap. Give up. Like this it's over with, man. Now what new? Nah. I see. That's it. that's commendable, man. I mean, like I said, looking at like like we're on with Tampa Tony right now because he's in the building. Uh this is the first day that he's out. And I and I gotta tell you, I mean, it absolutely merits being up here because of the A, the who he is as an artist in Tampa, you know, and his name in the in, in the game, but also who he is as a person. Cause not everybody just could come in here. Like Flex say that all the time. Like, can't nobody just come up right. here. Whatever. Everybody can come up <laughs> there. But I'm saying, like, everybody just can't come in here. Now we've talked about that. It's like yeah. we have a relationship that I'm like, yo, I want to have this conversation with you. Yeah. I'm not glorifying anything, but I want his story out there because for me to say for you to say I got life. I might, like, I mean, like they say you work out in jail. I might not have been working out. <laughs> like, I'm at, like, for you know, what? Well, for what? Yeah. Like, I'm staying who, in Who am I trying I, to impress? I ain't trying to impress nobody. <laughs> and I think the fatter that I am in here might be the best. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, if I, I mean, because I'm dealing with everything in here, and it's yeah. just, that just seems like a lot to bear. Like, I mean, who had, like, I know people, I mean, I know Headbus was running around here making sure everybody knew what was going on. Yeah. I know your family yeah, had you. Yeah. But, like, you know, like, I mean, was there any people that fell away, fell fell out of, of yeah, it's, 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 you know, like, could, there was too much. Yeah, it's a lot of people that, like, uh, they just went their separate ways, you know what I mean, because of the, the situation, the time, and, you know, they came back, then they left again, they came back, you know, but, I, you know, I, I can't, point no finger at them or feel no type of way about them because I can understand the situation. You know what I mean? So I just take my hats off to them and be like, you know, I, I appreciate the little bit of love that you showed and I know how you taking it. I can't I can't say how you taking it. I know how I'm taking it in here. Yeah. So I kind of like understand how you feel. You know what I mean? So Tony, from getting sentenced to life to having your sentence commuted by um, President Obama, what was the first ray of hope that you had? Were you thinking, man, I might actually get out of here one day? Uh, before before I got to clemency, I had been working um, on a prior that I had, and they granted the prior. So it took me from, it took me from, it's the same year, 2000, uh, 2016. It took me from life. To twenty, so just for that, mo- just for that modification, just for taking one of the priors off that I had got. Okay, so when it took me from life to twenty, so I'm like, you know, I'm excited, 
And I'm like, man, well, I'm going to just still put the clemency in and see what, if I can get out, you know what I mean? So I still put the clemency in, and like maybe like two months later, I, I got granted the clemency. So I was like, 2016 was an amazing year. No, no kidding. Like, so when they when you say you get the clemency now, so uh, like I mean, it's not like you're talking to Obama, but your lawyers and everybody else are hearing that you are on this list. Yeah. But the list don't really come out until he's like leaving the office, right? Well, no, no, the list ca- came out before he he left office. Okay. And yeah. so that means that it's locked. Yeah, it's it locked. can't change. It can't change. Okay, so you, right at that point, you knew you were leaving. Did you start giving away stuff? Yeah, I, I like gave was away it like, everything. yo, man, really? like, hey, man, <laughs> this is a damn good pillow, dog. You yeah. go ahead and take yeah. this. Like you started yeah. giving away stuff. What was yeah, your everything. most valued possession that everybody wanted? I had this. Uh, I had like two G Shot watches. <laughs> you know, like in prison, like the G Shot watch. G Shot watch in prison. <laughs> yeah, like ain't nobody trying to take that. Nah, it, it was like I had the. Uh, I had the black and it was almost like this one, the black with the gold. Yeah. Uh, but it was a big face and I had a, a a white one and it was like the white G a G shock with the gold. It's like it's like a Rolex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like a Rolex. <laughs> so everybody was like, hey man, I want that watch right there. What I gotta do to get the watch, man? How much I gotta pay you, man? And I'm like, I'm gonna give it to somebody, man. Wow. And Jordans. And Jordans. Jordans. Yeah, I had some Jordans too. Wow. So so I mean. Now, because I remember when you when you first came home and you you had to go to the halfway house, um, but there was a FaceTime or a, a IG live that you did, mm-hmm. and it was so you know crazy because I'm watching you in front of the potato chips, <laughs> <laughs> and it seems so weird. But you was in front of the chips for like thirty minutes, <laughs> and it's like you got to understand if you ain't seen Tampa Tony on IG, first of all, it wasn't here when you were gone. Nah. Like you you left and this what this blew up without yeah. you. Yeah. So you had so it was a learning curve. Yeah. So let me tell you now, when when you when he goes on, it take him a while to figure out that he was on. <laughs> Cause he kept saying, What's happening? <laughs> What's happening? So somebody pop up, hey man, good you home. Good to be home. Yeah. <laughs> so then he flipped around like the next couple of days, he's getting a little bit more comfortable with it. So he turned it around and he was like, Man, all these chips. Like, what the business is, which one of them the best chips? <laughs> they got all kinds of chips. They got, and then he started naming them. Vinegar, they got all, they got biscuits and gravy. They got, man, how they got this on the chips? Man, I don't even know which ones I want. <laughs> I'm like, man, you gonna grab some goddamn chips. You out, you free, get some chips. Get all the chips. Get all the chips, <laughs> man. Like, but it's like, the world changed. Yeah. What was so shocking for you when you came out? What was the biggest shock? Just how, how social media has really taking off like you know I, I wasn't here for it when IG came out and then to like really see it and then kind of understand it a little bit and then I was just like blown away like you know because I'm I'm so used to you know foot the soldiers. streets the yeah. streets okay I everything go you did with yeah. the, the the splitter the yeah. songs everything was on the yeah. street on hustle mixtape hustle yeah it's like mixtape hubs okay flyers I gotta have 10,000 flyers 20,000 flyers 10,000 posters. I got to put this out. I got to go here to just doing the flyer and just clicking the button. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. crazy. It's like, crazy. It feel like you ain't even hustling. Yeah. And then the videos, you're like, so I'm talking to somebody. I'm like, well, if I can shoot the video, how much is the video going to be? Like, maybe like, like 10 grand. They were like, 10 grand? They don't do no videos for 10 grand. You can shoot it with your phone. Yeah. Like, you can shoot it with the phone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I was like, that's yeah. I was like, oh man, this the game is, didn't change. The game has changed. Yeah, but I mean, but you get to be a part of it. Yeah, you get to be a part of it. I, I, it. I mean, I, you know what? I, I told everybody, I was like, man, like, because it was like, you haven't been here as long. Like Mark, our producer, he was like, yeah. dog, I can't wait to see Tampa Tony. He's like, because we kept hearing about him. He's like, yo, he's coming back. And I was like, he was more excited than anybody. And he's like, I ain't never met him. But I swear to God, I want to see Tampa Tony, man. It's like, because, I mean, that that Juke City thing, that's Tampa. That's here. Uh, you know, we were talking about people like the New Boys and people like that who, like, incorporated that kind of sound. Yeah. And that's what made them pop off here because yeah. it felt like they was part of it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you have come back and jumped right back into music, mm-hmm. and uh, which we're going to hit in a second. Um, but you also have a plan to help with the halfway houses because yeah. of what you went through. You came yeah. back to a spot and you had to spend how much time in the halfway house? Uh, six months. Well, really, uh, 
four and a half because they, they put me back in the county jail. Yeah. The first guy. <laughs> yeah, because you're out here, out here loose. <laughs> out here trying to go to everybody happy hour. Eating all the chips. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's still out there trying all the chips. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. wait, so, but when you went in there and I was telling you, I was like, man, so what did they work with you on? And you said you felt like they didn't do anything. They they, they didn't do anything. They didn't do anything. It, it was only, a, it's only a few that, that really, that really helped. They can be more instrumental in, in in helping people transition back into society, but I don't think that one is set up for that. You know. So I mean? you want to do something about it, and yeah. you want to now have your own yeah. halfway house mm-hmm. where people who get out of the system can now come and learn. Because you were like, they can learn social media, they can yeah. learn how to email, they can yeah. learn all of the stuff that they have been missing. Yeah. So that's now your platform yeah. that you want to excel in. Yes, because it, it's it's like. Um, you know, guys getting out from 20 years, like one of the guys got out with me this morning, uh, Kenny Bush, he been out 20 years. He don't know how to use, when he went in, it was beepers. Right. You know what for I mean? For real. Yeah. So beepers he, and phones. Yeah. He's still looking for Ronnie at beepers yeah, and phones. Yeah, he like, it's, it's beepers, man. He was like, when I went in, it was beepers, man. And yeah. I was like, it, and, and then too many people have beepers. So for him to get out and, and have the smartphone, it was like, it was amazing to him, like you know what I mean. So he started asking me, "Hey T, man, how you uh, how you?" Oh, you had to, you had to be like, yeah. And I'm like, I'm just learning guy. too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm everybody. Like two steps from him. I'm two steps ahead of you, man. That's, but he started asking, "Well, how you cut the camera on? Uh, how you take the picture? Uh, uh, you know, it's it's." It and they crazy. and it's, it's shocking that they won't like they won't walk you through that. Yeah, like, they don't walk because you, you get that. out. It's like yo, man. Because because I I, mean, I know it's called what is it called? Now, recidivism. 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 Yeah. Where it's like it's like you just a cycle. Mm-hmm. Like it's yeah. just going back. You gonna come back? Hey, it was a triple word score when you used it in all this other day. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you say? Recidivism. <laughs> but it's like but but it's like if you don't teach people when they get out. They you 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 left with nothing but to do but go back yeah yeah you know what I'm saying so uh, I mean I I applaud that because you seeing that and deciding that you want to help with it but you know I you also on top of that the music is here and I got to tell everybody because there's a welcome home party yeah yeah a a, a big big huge like yeah. if you've ever rocked with them you got to come out to Green Gators and take part in this party yeah now it's on October the fifth fifth yeah. And it's Friday. Yeah. And y'all ain't got nothing to do on Saturday. <laughs> nothing to do. <laughs> so you come on out and you chop it up with us because we're going to go out there and toast the homie. Yeah. Got to. And, and, uh, I'm and, on and, everybody and raise some too. drinks I'm, for him. And you, yeah. can, you can drink now. And yeah, I can drink now. Oh, man. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, you can have a cocktail or two. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make sure you got a driver. So yeah, you ain't got no Because yeah, yeah. you don't want any problems. No, 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 at all. I mean, for real. like Because you have you have a second life. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, for real. Like, everybody out there is listening like, yo, I know somebody doing a bid. I know somebody locked up or whatever. And they're listening to this. And they're like, there's some hope. There's some hope. You know, that they, that it can happen. But also, man, seeing you come out and seeing you so focused. Yeah. That's a great look, too. Yeah. I'm you know living I mean? for them, man. And guys, I left so many guys with 30, 40 life sentences and all that. And when I left, they're like, man, we living through you. Wow. Wow. You still you still got to keep up with them, man? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, you, like I mean, you're going to be writing a lot of letters. Yeah, I'm going to so. be writing, you know, writing. But it, it ain't even the letters. It's just like this. They want visuals. They want pictures. Mm-hmm. So yeah, with the photo, living, yeah, with the you. different little photo pigeons and all that, I can just upload and send them the pictures. Wow. Make it real easy. Yo, well, I, I mean, I got to tell you, like I said, man, I'm I'm glad that you're home. And, uh, you know, we're going we gonna to party it up. I want to make sure that we let everybody know we're going to take a break here and we're going to come back and run his new single with uh, Crystal, No Man. And I got to tell you, there's a lot of people out there online that's uh, rocking with this oh, right yeah. now. Because that's the new streets. He, and- he out there online. You know? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he ain't got to be at the old small flea market no more. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, any any shouts you want to do to anybody who uh, out there, man, I want you to get to get to run to do that uh, right now. Okay, uh, True Blessing Music Group, my team. Uh, Headbuster, Lorenzo, Tavaria, um, the whole movement, all the DJs in Tampa. Um, man, listen, it's the whole city of Tampa. That's major, man. Yeah, yo, that's major. I, I you know what? I, I just like to see it because we had a, we had a talk because I told you a, a whole bunch of like local artists was mad at me. 
They're like, look, man, we can't get on the morning show. I'm like, listen, man, it take a lot. You know what I'm saying? It take, a, it, like, it take a lot to get on the radio and a lot to get up here. And like I said, the guy in front of me, I know him as a man. And, you know, the news and headlines and all that didn't tell me about you. Mm -hmm. It told me stuff I didn't know, but I still was <laughs> yeah. like, I know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm like, I've all, I mean, I still deal with him the same way I dealt with him before it happened. Yeah. Because that's all I've seen from you. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, and I'm just happy you got another shot, bro. Yeah. I'm very happy you got another shot, man. So we're going to take a break, and we're going to come back and hit off this no man. And we're going to talk a little bit more before we get to the workday kickoff, man. We with Tampa Tony in the building. Tampa Tony, Chris Dahl, no man. Feel good? Oh, man, it feel good, man. You getting a lot of love on text, man. 888-429-0941. They checking in. Uh, you got people who are hitting in, but I mean, all kind of nonprofit organizations yeah. trying to help folks that's getting out, want to collab up with you. Also, uh, folks in here checking in like, yo, I got somebody doing a bid. It's good to hear. Uh, you know, stay free. You know what I mean? Like, you getting a lot of love, man. This is this is crazy because a lot of people, like you mentioned, uh, well, I was talking about Keep Jukin. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the other one, She, she uh, Lies. She Lies. I love that record. <laughs> like, I mean, like, I mean, when you... When you are an artist and you're in there, is there any way, like, I mean, you know, on the TV and the movies, we see, like, a music studio. Is there any yeah. kind of musical anything for you it, to do it, when you're in there? It was at, at one point, and it, they kind of, like, took all that away. Oh, You know really? what I mean? I guess it was trying to, like, you know, it's 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 kind of like the, it's, it's set up to keep you down. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. So anytime they see any type of fun or... or Anything of, of creativity, yeah. they, they trying to shut it down. Okay. Yeah. I remember when um, read, or listening to an interview with Tupac, and he was talking about his time incarcerated and how everybody expected him to come out with all of these songs, like doing all this writing. But he was like, yo, I wasn't inspired. I wasn't feeling creative. Yeah. Did you feel creative? Did you feel like locked down? Uh, I, was, I was locked down. You know, I, I wrote a lot of songs while I was in there. And they asked me to the day, like my team, like, man, let us, let us hear some of the songs. Like, do some of the stuff you wrote. And I was like, man, it was at a bad time. Like, right. I don't wanna, I don't wanna give nobody something that's depressing. Right. Like maybe I do them down the line, maybe like, you know, just a there's an, an introspective yeah. kind of look at it. Yeah, but I don't wanna do anything. I wanna be joyful now, you know what I mean? Happy. Plus, give, yeah. plus your references was off. You in there yeah. in the record talking about, man, my beaver <laughs> is buzzing. <laughs> They're like, Bieber, you got a smartphone. <laughs> hey, you better tell everybody you working with, too, man. Like, hey, man, look, them smartphones, because Davi got me all in these conspiracy sites. Them smartphones. <laughs> it's somebody listening on the other <laughs> side of this smartphone. <laughs> so your man is like, hey, how you work this? Tell him, put it down, yeah. turn it off. Yeah. Yeah. Write me a note. Because somebody, yeah, write me a note. Give me a sticky pad or something. Yeah, like, it's crazy, man. <laughs> it is crazy. Yo, so I I, I mean, this, so this party that's happening, um, like, you, you got a stack of tickets over there so i'm gonna give that to promotion so we can make sure we give away uh and, and get some folks in there but i want to remind everybody that friday october 5th is the official welcome home party for the homie tampa tony it's and going uh, down bring the city out man i'm putting the city on my back we going where we supposed to been at <laughs> <laughs> that's where we going we that's going where we, we supposed to been at a long time ago man there you go man yeah. i mean you know i i i'm, I'm proud of you man I'm, I'm i'm proud of you because you're taking advantage of of this situation i told you i was like you got a story that everybody need to hear. I mean, just, I mean, there ain't too many people out there who can say, you know, Obama let me out. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, people can say whatever they want to say about it. Oh, he was this, he was that. He's like, yo, he good with me. He let me out. <laughs> <laughs> he let me yeah. out. You know yeah. what I mean? So, you know, he said, yes, we can. You're like, yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> yes, we can. We can get out. So, man, hey, dude, I, I appreciate you coming through here. I know it's day one. What? What's, what's the, now that you, Ain't got any shackles on you. What do you want to go do? Legal, uh, legally. Fishing. Fishing? Fishing? Nice. Fishing. You a country boy. <laughs> country boy. <laughs> a real country, country boy. boy, man. You're like, I want to get out there I and get I want to get out snook. there and fish and not have to worry about I got to call in or I got to. Just go oh. out there and get. I mean, you got a charter. We need to get you on a charter. Get you way out there. Yeah, I'm trying to go. Deep sea fish, right. you know, it was way like that, man. No land, no I want to see you no over phones. here on the candy, just like <laughs> nah. And I'm like, look, Tony, we can do better. We can do better. <laughs> hey, man, I'm happy you home, man. You know, we're gonna end this the way we should. I mean, we are gonna start off the workday kickoff uh, with a classic here. So let's do this here.